Hello. Happened to uh, have a flashlight near me, so we'll see how this ends up helping or ruining things. Yeah, but anyway, there I am. Uh, sitting outside, it's just about midnight. Uh, I wonder if I can put this where it's just kind of nearby, but not uh, sort of too directly on me. We'll see how that might work. Hello. So it's just sitting out here. After a warm day. The air is cooling. The moon is rising. Moon and dew is forming on the grass. It's an interesting meditation to do. Or even contemplation. Yeah. Feel what it then hidden in the air become liquid under your fingers on the broad leaves and the finer leaves. That sort of coalescing of what you had earlier breathed. Sitting out here, hearing the night sounds. Feels like a very quiet evening. Kind of whispering, falling into sync with it. Feeling the softened sun rays bounce off the moon and land on me. And you know, somewhat light the dark, you know, as I cover the flashlight, maybe have a sense of. In fact, you can probably see on my glasses there, kind of as I turn my head, maybe. I'm guessing that might be the moonlight reflecting there. But. There's a yin quality, of course, a softened quality to the moonlight. When you sit outside in the sun, you can often feel it warming your skin, warming your bones, feel your temperature rise. And of course, your eyes see into shadows with the help of the sunlight, and there's plenty to be seen. But at night, I think when we notice the light of the moon, we notice what we can make out by it, perhaps if we can read by it. It kind of feels like it's mostly visual. We really feel the moonlight, the moonbeams, the moon rays falling on our skin and warming or cooling us. I really think about the weight of the moonlight, its effect on my body. I tend to just think of it. I think it's midnight, I'm yawning. I tend to think of it. In terms of what we can see and what we can't see, what we can sort of see. Same thing happens with the sun then we're more likely to take for granted what we can see. With the sun, we tend to feel the warmth. So, I'm just sitting out here quieting myself into some sort of sync with the evening. I 
I'm trying to become aware of the moon. And with more than my eyes. I'm trying to breathe in the air saturated with moonlight. I'm trying to breathe in that. Feminine, yeah. Trying to feel it on my skin. Can it reach my bones the way the sun might reach my bones when I sit under glass on a winter's day? I have the flashlight on, so maybe you can see and orient yourself a bit more. The moon is rather full, but I don't think you see much of me or anything. Normally I do a moon bathing. Excuse me. Normally I do the moon bathing, you know, with no external light, of course. I cannot really focus on that. I'll give you just a look at the, uh, the moon there. In fact, I'll, I'll t that's my flashlight moving. I'll turn that off for a moment. Trying to invite in the softness of the moon and beyond the skin. Into the inner bits of the body. To help with that yin, I try not to purposely exhale. Set my focus is on inhalations. And then just let the exhalation happen. Of its own. Inhale. Inhale. Lightly through the nose. As yin-like as we can make the yang process. the more the yin, the yin will be. So inhale lightly, gently. And then with no consciousness, no intent, no effort, no action, observe the exhalation arrive on its own, act on its own, and on its own. In other words, a rather yin process, which means that our inhalation, our yin step, our conscious yin step, our moon breath, that much more quiet, soft, feminine, gentle, The 
Oops, I really should have done that. So I'll give you another look at the moon here. I'm uh, guessing that I may have it fairly centered there, but I can't quite tell. I'm going to hold the camera this way. Thank you very much.